I'm right here by the fire. As you can see, this is the fireplace. And I'm going to show you something that we've been working on just for two days or so. We've been switching jobs here and there, so we've been doing a little bit of this and a little bit of other things. And this metal is going to be used for the sides. Guess what this is? A shower. And it's a very basic shower. And I just took a shower and it's uh, probably 24 or 25 degrees out. The shower head is not the best, but it will work. It does work. Uh, there's not much power there, but it does work. And the water tank that we are using, of course, has to be higher than the shower head. And it's up there. And then it goes along here into the into there and then into the into the shower head so that is one project that we are doing here and that will be completed probably tomorrow or the next day uh, we change jobs we're doing right now an hour um, an outhouse so let's go see the outhouse come on everybody So we're here going to the outhouse and as you've noticed we're using all sorts of used material whatever is on the land as you can see this was previously owned and there's a lot of scraps and garbage and everything around that we have to of course collect and dispose of so this is the structure that we've been creating for an outhouse it's going to be a pretty big outhouse uh, eight by four feet and so this is a lot of the material that we have. We have some over there, some sheet metal for the roofing. We have our dolly or scaffolding that we have right here. And we've been doing this and you can see the roof. I don't know if you can see it that well, but the roof goes kind of slanted. Let me show you on this side actually. Ow. Okay, so the roof goes slanted as you can see here. And this is the structure. So on two of the short, two of the short sides, we're gonna have bottle bricks, and then we're gonna have like on on that side, and on that side, that short side, we're gonna have bottle bricks. The rest is gonna be uh, probably sheet metal all all around. And then on top, it was gonna be, of course. Uh, metal roofing as well and all this stuff as you can see here all the stuff that we're using is all scraps garbage material that is found on the land okay so there's a lot of things here that we are going to be utilizing to create this outhouse so for people that don't know an outhouse is an outdoor bathroom and we're gonna make it compostable so we're gonna have a compostable toilet so I'm not sure what uh, Steph has planned, uh, if he's going to buy a compostable toilet or if he's, we're just going to use uh, something as a container and just go in there. So like make a hole and then use a, you know, have a container. I'm not sure what he has planned for, but there are, I forgot to mention, I'm going to go back actually here because I want... Uh, you to know, people to know that these posts that you see here, these posts here, they go into the ground two feet. So they have to be at least two or three feet. Better if it's four feet to make it stronger and sturdier. And it would be better if there's some kind of hard material. Concrete or hempcrete would be better. Uh, you know, we're going to actually pour some water. When it's finished, we're going to pour some water there and we're going to compact it as best as we can. We're going to put some more soil there around. But it will last for many, many years. So this right here is the flooring. So this is the flooring and the stairs are going to go down. There's going to be stairs going down. And of course, there's going to be a door right here. 
and of course some windows and ventilation. So that's our outhouse, our compostable outdoor, you can call it bathroom, and maybe there might even be a little sink with a small reservoir of water. So we'll see how that goes. I'll ask if that's going to happen. Uh, it could be possible just a small a little barrel, maybe half the size of the other one that I showed you. And uh, that way at least people can wash their hands right after they go to the, wa to the washroom because they might forget and then they didn't wash their hands of course. So I usually carry around with me anyways my bottle of water and I just wash myself that way with water. So that is the two projects that we're doing right now. Uh, we finished, like I said, we finished the, the roofing system for the kitchen. It's not totally completed. There's a lot of things to still, still to complete. Uh, we also uh, did this. Now a lot of this, I would not personally myself, hey, there's my uh, chipmunk friend underneath the pile of rubbish, uh, wood, but uh, basically I would not do it this way. This looks really like awful, like like a scrapyard in a way. I would definitely not do it this way with these pallets, but we utilize a lot of the material on the land and so he buys some material like he does buy these long these long uh you know wood pieces but otherwise a lot of the wood comes from dead trees comes from around the area a lot of the metal comes from around here uh from the last owner a lot of the other types of wood and um also the plastic that you that you can see right here is also you know, all this plastic here, as you can see, this tarp or whatever you call it, it's uh, all from the land. The majority of the stuff here is from the land. And we even made uh, our scaffolding, as you saw back there. So, this is a really a great system so far. Um, we're utilizing everything that's on the land. Uh, a lot of things may not be totally environmentally friendly, but we utilize everything what is on the land. And again, we're using a lot of a lot of these pallets to, you know, this is a reservoir. Uh, that's just a extra barrel that we have for washing hands or whatever we need. Uh, and then we have our main barrel up there for the shower and it's connected to the black pipe and the green one so if that one is empty then this barrel will fill into that one by this pump and this pump works this way so let's see if it comes up well I didn't pump it long enough but it, there's the uh, the pipe that comes out if it's overflowing. So the overflow uh, like a valve. And then we have so many other things here and we try our best to be as much as much as we possibly can environmentally friendly here but again it is not always possible. That's about it folks. Thanks for joining me. Please like this video and share it around with everyone you know. And I will talk to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and pre-order the book, Our Path to Freedom, How We Can Live a Freer and More Peaceful Life. Thanks a lot. I'll see you soon.